In this video, we're going to do an unpaired, also known as an independent, student t-test. So I'm going to go ahead and select the column type of data set. And then I'm going to enter replicate values stacked into columns and click the create button. So I'm just going to make up some data here, again using males and females as an example. So let's pretend we've uh, taken a group of males and females and measured their height. And what we want to do is to see if there's any significant difference between the height of males and females. So I'm going to go ahead and create some data here inside GraphPad. So I'm going to click the title on group A and call this males. Group B I'm going to call females. And then I'm going to enter my data. So this is height recorded in centimeters. So to perform the unpaired t-test, we first need to go to analyze. So here in the ribbon, click on that and it'll open up the analyze wizard. Now what we want to select is under the header column analyses, we want to select t-tests and non-parametric tests. And the data sets we want to include are obviously the two data sets we have in our sheet. So we've got males and females. Click the OK button and then the next wizard will open. So the first part under experimental design is asking you whether it, you want to perform an unpaired or a paired t-test. So it's unpaired because they're from different individuals. The data is from individuals of males and females. If this was data from the same individual, this would be a paired test. In this example, it is an unpaired test. The next part is assume Gaussian distribution. So this is saying, is your data normally distributed? So for this sake, we're going to say yes, it is. So we're going to leave this as yes, use parametric test. If your data wasn't normally distributed, then you would select this option here to do a non-parametric test. And finally, it's asking you whether both of the populations have the same variation in their data. So are their standard deviations similar? In our example, they are. But again, you just need to bear this in mind before you run the test just to see, does your groups have similar variation? Another way you can actually get an indication as to whether your groups have similar variation is to perform an F-test. Now, the F-test will actually be performed after we do this T-test, so I'll explain this further once, it's, once we do this. So I'm going to leave this as unpaired T-test, assume both populations have the same SD. And what we're going to also do is, you see this little tab here, it says options at the top. Click on this, and this will just give us a few more options we can uh, change. So the actual test itself, I'm going to do a two-tailed analysis. You, if you wanted to do a one-tailed analysis, you can click this here. How you want the, report, uh, the, the results to be reported, so I'm going to just leave this as default, so this would be females minus males. Again, I'm going to leave this as 95% confidence intervals, which the vast majority of people report. I'm going to leave all of these uh, blank. The additional results, you can tick here if you want the descriptive statistics, instead of going back and doing this separately, you can click this here. My PVAL style, I'm going to stick with APA. And I'm going to click the OK button to run the test. Let's go through the results sheet in more detail. So at the top, it's telling you what data set you've actually analysed. So we've left this as being called data one. So again, if you have multiple sheets open, it's always good to see uh, which results sheet links to which data set. It's telling you what column A and B stand for, if you ever forget. So column A, I had males, column B, I had females. And this is the, the results of the test itself. So the first one, we've got the p-value. So straight away, we've got a p-value of less than 0 0.001. In other words, this is very significant. This is summed up in the p-value summary. It's given us three asterisks. So this is very commonly reported uh, whenever you look at a, a journal in the graphs, for example, uh, this is how they report that. The significant difference, so is it less than 0.05? Well, yes, it is. 
Once the analysis one or two tailed, we did two tailed. Uh, and finally, it's telling you the T statistic. So usually the higher the T statistic, the higher the significance. And also the, the numbers of degrees of freedom. The next section is telling you a little bit more about the difference in the results. So you've got the mean and standard error of the mean for column A. In this case, that's the males. So we've got 181.1 centimetres plus or minus 1.716 centimetres. And there's an N of 8. And that's the same for females. So straight away, just by looking at that, you can see that the males were bigger on average compared to the females. This is summed up in the difference between the means. So there's an actual difference of 17.75 centimetres. This is the difference, uh, the 95% confidence intervals for the difference. So the R squared value is the amount of variation that can be explained between the group means. So in other words, 0.78 can be equated to 78%. So 78% 70, of the variation of the data is explained by the group means. Usually if you have a very significant result, uh, the R squared value is higher. And underneath, finally, we have the results of the F test. So I could say the F test is very useful for understanding the variance of each group. So to start with, you've got your F statistic and your degrees of freedom. The p-value for the f-test itself. So if the f-test p-value is less than 0.05, this would mean that the variances are unequal. Therefore, you would have to go back and choose an unpaired t-test with Welch's corrections. The p-value summary is, is here. So this, in this case, obviously, it's not significant because the variances are equal because the p-value is above 0.05. And this, this is just summed up in the, the last column. So that is how you do an unpaired or an independent student t-test on data. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.